Hello everyone, uh, this is a new YouTube channel where we will discuss algorithms and data structures and other mathematical concepts but in Haskell programming language. Haskell is a functional programming language so and it's a pure functional programming language which doesn't allow any side effects but elegant functional programming solution to various problems. So today uh, we will be discussing quicksort algorithm. So quicksort algorithm is a sorting algorithm which sorts a list. So let's take an example to understand this algorithm. Let's say we have a list of numbers 7, 4, 3, 1, 8, 6. Okay. So what does so what quicksort does is it takes a pivot value, it fixes the pivot value in its correct position and groups all the elements which are less than the pivot value on the left subpart and all the elements that are greater than the pivot value as a left as the right sub sublist and again recursively applies the process on the left and right sublist. So for the sake of simplicity let's say that the pivot value here is 7. So 7 is the pivot value. So all the elements which are less than 7 would be grouped on the left side. So what are all those elements? So 4, 3, 1 and 6 are less than 7 which will be which will be grouped on the left side and 8 is the only element which is greater than 7 hence it will be grouped on the right side. Now this process will be repeated recursively for the left sublist and the right sublist. So now let's again take the first element as the pivot element here it's 4 so all the elements which are less than 4 would be grouped on the left and all the elements that are greater than 4 would be grouped on the right. Now again the process would repeat recursively for the left sublist and the right sublist. So again 3 is the element, all the elements less than 3 would be grouped on the left, all the elements which are greater than 3 which so there are none would be grouped on the right part and hence we can see that the list is sorted. But we did not do the process for this sublist, so let's do it again. So all the elements which are less than 8 in this sublist would be grouped on the left side and all the elements that are greater would be grouped on the right side. Since there are no such elements and 8 is the only element, uh, it would be a sorted list in itself and hence this would be our final sorted list. Hence this is how quicksort works. It takes a pivot element, it constructs a left part and then there are all the pivot elements and then there is the right half. So let's call the middle thing as a pivot list. So it contains all the elements that are equal to pivot and so this is just for the sake of a clear grouping. So all the elements that are equal to the pivot elements lie in the middle of the list. All the elements which are lesser than the pivot elements lie on the left side and all the elements that are greater lie on the right side. So left is a list in itself, right is a list in itself and pivot is a list in itself. And we would just be appending the list. So here plus stands for an operation of appending two lists but the algorithm is clearly not complete here. We would repeat this algorithm for again for the left list and we would again repeat this al algorithm for the right thing. Okay, so this is the complete algorithm. So now let's try to implement it in Haskell. So uh, let me start with GHCID. So what is GHCID? It's a tool which is used to check whether which is which is used to check dynamically whether our program is correct or not. So whenever we write a Haskell program, if we save it, this tool which is running in the terminal would check whether the program that we have written till now is correct or not. Okay. So clearly it's complaining that the IO action main is not defined in the module. So let's define main. This is the minimal complete definition that is needed for to compile a Haskell program. So we can see that it compiles. Now, and what is the type of main? It would be an IO type. What is IO type? 
so io type means that it just says that our main function would do io actions it would return a unit value that is it would return nothing and just perform some io actions what are io actions reading the input writing to file reading from file or in our case showing the output on the terminal now let's define our quicksort algorithm so what will quicksort take as input it would take a list of integers and it would give out a list of integers the list of integers that it takes don't necessarily need to be sorted that is it's an unsorted list but it gives out a sorted list so let's implement it so this is the input list so as we discussed uh, it would take a left sublist it would take a list of pivot elements list let let us call it as pivot list and it would take a right sublist in haskell to append to list we have this syntax so plus plus is used to append two lists again this is not correct because we have to sort the left half and we have to sort the right half now again we can see that the after saving the file ghcid is complaining that we haven't defined the right sublist pivot list and left sublist so let's define them so this is the one of uh, this is one of the features in haskell that i really like that it lets us do top down programming so we have just said that okay this is what we will have and let's uh, just define the minimal definition so we can see that uh, now it's not complaining it's all good so now uh, let's try to implement it let's implement everything so what would be left sublist it would be a list of integers what would be the pivot list pivot list would be again a list of integers and what would be the right sublist it would be a list of integers clearly uh, you can see in haskell that to define a signature of a function it's kind of mathematical so we have a domain and we have a codomain and this is how functions are right it's just a mapping from domain to codomain or domain to range so and it's and it lets us define them very intuitively in haskell so and for the sake of simplicity again we will define a pivot value so it would be an integer now what would be the pivot value so uh, as we said earlier it would be the first element of the list head let's us take the first element of the list so the head of the list is the pivot value so what would be the left sub list all the elements that are less than the pivot would be would constitute the left sub list so these are all elements which are less than pivot what would be the pivot pivot list all the elements that are equal to pivot would constitute the pivot list and what would be the right sublist all the elements that are greater than pivot i don't know why i keep writing two so all the elements that would be greater than the pivot value would constitute the right sublist so this is the definition of quicksort but there is one small bug here and it is that what what would be the base condition so quicksort in case of empty list would return an empty list so this is how haskell functions are defined we can do pattern matching so it automatically matches the pattern that when when given an empty list return this when given a list which is not empty perform this algorithm hence uh, this is our definition of quicksort 
let's see whether it works or not let's open GHCI and load the quicksort module now quicksort and let's take a random list so 2 3 4 5 7 it's a random list and after applying the quicksort function we can see that it works it has sorted the list in the right order now let's check it again for okay so 1 to 10 is a list of integers from 1 to 10 and quick sort on it would give us a list simply which is 1 to 10 but let's take a reverse of this so reversing 1 to 10 will give us a list which is same as 1 to 10 but in reverse order so it's 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 now let's perform quick sort on this to see whether it sorts it or not so quicksort L gives us a sorted list hence we are sure hence we can see that our quicksort algorithm works so uh, this would be it for today if you liked the video then uh, please subscribe to the channel and I will upload more videos on various other algorithms but their implementation in Haskell and 